Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. So I'm standing at the 11 acre field and this was cut last night. What I'm thinking is that today we're gonna try our hand at making some actual baleage this time instead of accidentally making some dry hay. So uh, you guys will remember that we wrapped some grass. I tried making it wet, but grass being grass, uh, it does dry down very fast and it's lighter in density. So it just kind of exacerbates the drying process. Well, we're standing out at my field of alfalfa, and this was cut last night, last yesterday afternoon, and uh, we're gonna see what we can do with it. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna take a handful of this stuff and uh, try seeing if I can figure out what the moisture is on it. Uh, it is, to me, it's extremely wet. Um, I wouldn't say that this is below 40 or even prob probably 50% right now, but there is still some dew on top. So what I'm thinking is, I'll take a handful of it, take it back home, and there's a test that you can do with your microwave to figure out what the moisture percentage is in the crop. So I'll probably grab a handful here, we'll hop back in the truck, go back home, and uh, look that test up, see what it takes to do it. We've probably got 30 acres or so down right now, so I'm gonna grab a handful of this stuff. I think it takes 100 grams worth of material. So I'll grab what I think is 100 grams and uh, we'll go back home. So referring back to the chart that I found online, by laying down a narrow swath, the moisture content in the plant should be sitting roughly to 50 to 60 percent uh, by this afternoon. It's still morning so I expect that it's going to be a little wetter if we lay it out and uh, if we do end up raking it, you know, that whole time it's going to be losing moisture. So let's grab a handful of it and uh, see what we got. This looks like a good spot to grab. Let's grab the stuff underneath. I feel like that's a representative sample. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go grab a knife. I'm gonna chop up the silage into uh, one to two inch lengths just for ease. And then I'm gonna throw it into a microwavable bowl. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put 100 grams worth just for making it a little bit easier to calculate. Uh, we're gonna put 100 grams into a bowl and I'm gonna weigh it out and we're gonna take it in, microwave it in short intervals to bring the moisture content of the forage down. And once we got a constant moisture content, we can do the calculations and subtract the difference to figure out exactly how much moisture there is um, in the forage. So I'm gonna go grab a bucket. Don't let Hannah see this or I'm gonna be making salad every night for the next month. This is 78 grams, so I need to fit a little bit more on here. I know I knew better than to use the new nice plates that we got as wedding gifts because I value my life. <laughs> I'm not totally sure if these plates are microwavable though. So guys, if you could, could you uh, scream into the other room and ask your wives if uh, paper plates are microwavable? I'm pretty sure, but back in my days when I lived alone, everything was microwavable. Let's go see what this weighs. 88 grams. I'm starting to think I need a bigger plate. 115 grams right here. All together. We're going to take it inside. I'm going to weigh the paper plate, see how much these weigh, and uh, I'll read more on the instructions on what to do. Ooh, 103. So I'll take three grams off by taking material off around the edges, and then we'll throw it in the microwave. Nobody breathe, nobody nothing. We have 100 grams worth of material. Hannah, when you watch this, I am so sorry for getting the house dirty. But no job too big there, eh, buddy? Yeah, you give me a thumbs up. Now, the instructions I'm reading say that the material can't be more than an inch and a half deep, but uh, you're supposed to form it around so it looks like a little donut, probably so that it dries out more evenly. But I don't know how big a microwave these people have, but uh, mine's not that big, and I don't have that big of a plate, so what I got is what I'm going to have to make do with. Go ahead and throw it in. For the first cycle, we're gonna throw it in for two minutes. Ooh, that's hot. I'm gonna mix it up and then we're gonna throw it back in for 30 seconds to one minute, depending on how dry the material feels. I'm probably gonna throw it back in for one minute because it is still wet. So since we were at 100 grams, we went down to 59, 60. 
So putting it in for two minutes removes 40% of the moisture out of the forage. Let's pull it out and wait again. Now, I don't know how to describe the smell of this. It smells good, but it also smells really, really bad at the same time. I don't know how to explain it. All right, we're down to 43, which leaves us at 57%. This is still pretty wet. Throw it in for another 30 seconds. So right now we're sitting at 65%. If it is at 65% moisture, then we'll probably wait until this afternoon before we start wrapping things up. Um, 65 is about the absolute max where I'd be comfortable bailing. So I feel like this is a pretty rep representative sample of what I had. We're gonna be losing moisture all day long and I'm gonna have someone go out and start raking it up. So we'll be lo losing moisture there as well. Um, not too worried. I think where it's sitting at right now is pretty good. So that's the second time that it read 31. Seems like we've driven most, if not all, the moisture out of it. And uh, by that calculations, if we had 100 grams of material, which I might have lost in one or two. So right now we're sitting at about 69%. I measured this relatively fast, but you gotta remember that it probably lost a little bit of moisture coming over here. It probably lost a little moisture once I started cutting it up and put it into the microwave. So this moisture level that we've got might be a little bit lower in that aspect. Uh, you also have to remember that what's laying out in the field is gonna continue drying for another two hours, probably yet at least. So uh, I think that we'll be good to go this afternoon. I might send someone out to start raking up, but uh, where we're sitting at right now is 69% moisture. At most, I wanna be 65%, but I'd be happy if we were between 50 and 60. Now the baler, the 569 premium, uh, can or should be able to handle the heavier forage material. Is it gonna be able to handle 70%? I don't know. We're gonna to have to find that out this afternoon. That was a cool little science lesson. I might uh, go get another sample this afternoon from what's been raked, and before we actually start baling, figure out what moisture we're sitting at but that's a pretty handy little trick figuring out how much moisture is in your material and uh, we're aiming for 40 to 60. Uh, i would be content with bailing it at 65 but much higher than that and you don't want to be wrapping any of the material so well, there you go lesson learned all right alfred take it away We've successfully covered our tracks. Now let's just hope Hannah doesn't question when her leftovers taste like grass. Why does it taste like grass? Well, it looks like I got banished to the doghouse tonight. <laughs> but actually, be sure to check back for our next video when we are going to be baling that hay and making baleage for the first time. Uh, I'm actually really interested to see how all this pans out. But if you guys are interested, I do have new t-shirts in the Howe Farms workstore and uh, they're of an American flag with farm on on it. And uh, I'm just taking in orders now. I'm looking to get a bulk order going, so hopefully I can have them on my website full time. Um, they are cotton, polyester, and rayon, which uh, I've recently been wearing more and more clothes with rayon in them, and I really like how comfortable they are. And uh, I'm hoping that they turn out to be pretty good quality shirts. So I'm sure you guys will be seeing me wearing them coming up here in a few videos when I, once I get them in. But uh, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All How Farms Work. If you guys are interested in winning one of those new How Farms Work tees that I am having in, leave a comment down in the comment section. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna pick one random winner from the comments down below. If you guys can't think of anything to write, well, let me know if you guys know of any other methods that there are to measure the moisture content in forage. I'll be looking forward to your answers uh, after I post this video. So with that, I'll see you next time, guys.